Creating a website has never been easier. You might have tried website builds like Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, Webflow, and so on. And while they are great for building websites and you can do so in a couple of hours, sometimes you just want to make a simple website where you can share your ideas and your notes. And this is where Notion comes in. To make quick, simple, and beautiful looking websites, all you have to do is create a new page in Notion and then share it using a link. While this is great and you can share your page easily, sometimes the link isn't proper or you might not have the proper formatting for your website. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in this video on how you can make your own Notion website. We can use Notion website builders like super.so and fruitationsite.com which allow you to connect your custom domain to Notion page which allows you to make quick Notion website. So in this video, I'll be showing you from start to finish on how you can build your own landing page or blog using Notion. Later on, I'll be showing you how you can connect your Notion page to a custom domain to take your website to the next level. Let's first start off by creating our own page in Notion and you can name this whatever you want, but for my case, I'm going to be naming it Shovinium. After you're done there, you just add a quick emoji. Okay. And you can also add a cover page for your website to make it look even more cool. So let's go to Unsplash. Let's go Sky. Yeah, this looks cool. So let's use this. Now you have the basics of your website. You have your title page. Now you have also added an emoji to make your website look better. Now make sure that you have selected the font that you want for your website. So I'm going to use the default font, serif or mono. I'm just going to keep the default one. Then I'm going to click on full width to make the website larger. Now I'm going to add a H1. I'll call it. Oh, I'll I wrote the front introduction of the website. Now we're going to move on to adding an image. Because we want people to look on your personal website. So just type in slash image. This is a shortcut. Then you just upload an image. So let me try to find my profile image. Yeah, so I can just drag and drop my image here. This is a bit too big. So wait for it to finish loading. So you can just go ahead and delete this since you don't need it anymore. So now that we have our image here, you can just drag it to make it smaller. Now we're going to carry this and we can drag it to move it around. Now we're going to place it on the right. Yeah, so this looks better. Okay, so now that we're done there, I'm just going to add a quick introduction to my website. So you can just write a quick introduction about who you are and what your website's about here. Yeah, so this was actually inspired by Night Lyson. His website is super cool, so you should check it out too. And it's made in Webflow. Yeah, so this looks way better now. Now that we're done with that, we can move on to the next section. In the next section, we're going to be creating various pages. So you might have seen this in other websites, such as an About page, Contact Me page, Now page, Train Derek Sivers, and stuff like that. So I'll create a new page called Now. So you can read about the idea behind a now page over here, but the main idea is that you should be writing on your website what you're up to right now. Now we're going to head back to Shovinium by clicking on the top corner. And as you can see here, we now have a page. So all you have to do is just drag it all the way to the top. Boom, now you have your links here. Yeah, so this will now be your navbar. So you can also add a toggle slash toggle, toggle list. Bring this up here. You can open this toggle, you can call this nav. Call it navbar. And to make it better, you can just add an emoji. Let's add a compass emoji. Yeah, there is one. Now I'm gonna open the toggle and just drag this in. Yeah, so now you can open and hide it. So now we don't really need a now page, we also need other pages, so we're just gonna duplicate this. We believe it's command D, so you can just use the keyboard shortcut to be faster. So we need now page, we need a bot page, and we need a contact me page. Also we need a books page to show all the books that you're reading. So one, one, one. Actually for this you can just add in at shower.com slash books. I'll just copy this page so you can see how it looks like. So control A. Hopefully this works properly. Yeah, this is a bit weird. I'll just remove this. As you can see, I have a list of all the books I've ever read in my life. So now we can move on. 
Now this is going to be the about me page. So another cool thing is that you can upload your own image. So here you can download custom icons from like Flaticon or other websites and you just upload them here. So let me just add an image. Yeah, this looks okay. Yeah, now this looks way better. Because it's an about me page and it's the Memoji about me. Yeah, so you just change the cover for all the different web pages to make it look better. So now you can drag and drop to arrange your navbar according to how you want it to be. Yeah, so this looks nice. So now that we're done with our main with our navigation bar, and we're done with our introduction to our page, and we added an image, cover page, emoji. Now we're going to be adding the section for the blocks. I add a H1 now and call it blocks. Blocks, then we're gonna line slash inline. That's the inline gallery. Yeah, this should look nice. My projects. Let's call it my projects. Then you can customize the text over here. So let's say, for example, you want a, I don't know, orange text here. Boom, now you have an orange text. Then here you can title it blocks. So all you have to do is just click on this. Then you can start writing your own box here. So for example, how to build a Notion website. Then you just type in whatever you want here. Then there's also the created time, text, whatever, you can make this useful for your readers. Another interesting thing is that you also add images. You have this a gallery view. Just click slash image, unsplash website. So what is website? Let's just search unsplash for... Yeah, this looks nice. So we can just add an image right here. And once you do this, you'll notice that in the gallery view, you can see an image. So this makes your website look more legit. So you also add emoji, uh, let's say computer. Yeah, let's add a personal computer. Yeah, so now this looks way better. So you just add your more blog posts like this. All right. So, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, and you can just continue doing this with all your blog posts. And one thing to notice is that Notion has auto saves. So you might want to make sure that you just write your uh, blog posts in another page in Notion and then copy them over. Unless you want your viewers to see you live blogging. Which there can also be cool too. This page. Okay. Um, now that looks okay. So now we have added a couple of blog posts to your website and it looks way better now. So now since this is an inline gallery view, you can add other things to your website too. So let's say for example, you can write slash inline. So now we're going to be creating a timeline for your projects. So you can just show your portfolio here. So emoji, I don't know, file. As you can see here, you can just name these different things. Uh, internship. Then you just assign different dates so it looks better on the timeline view. Yeah. Or if you want, you can add other different views to make it easier for people to find it. So let's say for example, you can add a table. So let's call it table view. Then you can set this to be the default also. So you can write, you can write like when your internship is from, your job experience and so on. Yeah, so this can be useful if you want to track your different projects or your portfolios and you just quickly add them with an inline view so it looks better on your website. And another thing that you can do with your website, you can also attach different iframes. So you can embed like for PDFs, Google Maps and so on. And there are many different websites that you can use this with. Yeah, so now we have built your basic website with your blog post and your portfolio or other projects and whatever you want to do. So here's the final website that we have created in a few minutes. It's also super easy to update your website as all you have to do is go onto Notion and just change things. So let's say instead of enjoy, I'll run right cheers. Yeah, cheers. So this is automatically updated on your website and anyone with your link can access it. So now we're going to be moving on to the second part of the video which is about how you can convert this website into an actual legit website using a custom domain and how you can share this link with others. All you have to do to share your website is click share, share to web and you don't want to allow editing unless you want other people to easily edit, edit yours. You can allow duplicate if you want. 
you know, allow comments so that people can leave comments. Yeah, so you can just click on search engine indexing so that your public page may appear in Google and whenever people search for your name or your website, it will also show up. So since we are doing a public website, you might want to take, take this on. So anyone on the link can view. Yeah. So now all I have to do is click copy link and I'll go into incognito now to show you that I'm not logged into Notion and I can actually access it. So I'm in private browsing mode. Boom. As you can see, I'm not logged into my Notion account right now and it still appears as a nice website. Yeah, it shows here that it's made by Notion and this is great. But the issue is that this link is usually quite long and no one remembers this. But the problem is this is an auto-generated link from Notion and it's very long with random alphabets and digits. In order to make this more user-friendly, we can use website builds like fruititionsite.com and super.so. But since fruititionsite.com is free, we'll be using that in this video. So now you can just close this. The fruitition site dot com. So this link will be in the description box below. Yeah. So this is a free open source tool for building websites using Notion. So we're going to be using Cloudflare Workers to rewrite traffic and use your own custom domain. So to enable to access domains, you can go to namecheap.com and buy your own domain for like eight dollars a year or something like that. So step one, we're going to be setting out a Cloudflare account. So all you have to do is sign up for a Cloudflare account. So let's go. So I'll be walking you through the process here. So now I've created my Cloudflare account. So you have to enter your site and domain name. DomainShavage.com, add site. So it'll show you here the pro plan, business or enterprise. You don't need to look at any of these. Just continue the free plan. Just click on this and click continue. Okay, so now one important detail here is that if you don't have any A records imported, you should have 1.1.1.1 as a content. And if you're using a subdomain, you should add one of the subdomain as a name and 1.1.1.1 as a content. So I'll add a new record. Uh, it'll be Notion 1.1.1.1. Yeah, it's four ones. It's content. This doesn't really matter. Let's click save. So now all you have to do is log into Namecheap or wherever you have your domain and replace the default name servers with Cloudfest one. So let me just go do that. Okay, so after logging into Namecheap, what you have to do is go to your domain, click manage, and scroll down until you see name servers. Then here you can click custom DNS. Then you have two name servers here. So, let's go back to Cloudflare and copy these. Then click Done. So now we're just going to continue the setup. Click Save. Always use HTTPS. So you just tick all the boxes. These are the recommended settings in the website. Speed up web page, finish. Okay, so now we have done with our setup. Now you can continue. Now you can click on workers. After clicking on workers, click on manage workers and create a new worker. So now you hear, you'll see some code here, but don't be frightened. All you have to do is go to step two. Now here you'll see that you should enter your domain. So for example, you should enter your root domain. Then you should enter your notion URL. Then just click copy. So for your Notion URL, all you have to do is go to your Notion page. From your Notion page, click share and copy the link. So after so after copying the link, you can go back, replace everything here, then paste it. And copy the code and then paste it over here. So once you're done, just click save and deploy. Save and deploy. Okay, so once it's done, you can click on your domain name. Just click over here. Yeah, so Cloudflare is now protecting my site. So that means it has been already connected with the name servers. So now I'll click on workers again. Click add root. Now you're here, supposed to enter your domain here. So since I'm using a subdomain, I'll enter the subdomain. 
and then I'll add slash then the most important thing you should add an asterisk at the end so if you're using your main domain you just do something like this but since I'm using my subdomain I'm gonna enter it like this then the worker you should select the worker you should only have one here yeah so this is the worker I'm going to be using then just click save yeah so now it should be done so now it has been 30 minutes since I published my site in Cloudfair and now as you can see here, I can access my website at notion.shavish.com. So here you'll see that it's the exact same as the one in my Notion database. And here you can also see that at the top you have your name of your page, the Shavinium for me, and an emoji. You can also add your own custom image as shown previously. Also there's a toggle mode here for light mode and dark mode. And you can see here is the exact same thing. So we can go to our navbar and click now. Then now we're redirected to the page. And the person can click on Shravinium at the top left corner to go back to the front page. There's also the blog post where people can read your blog post. Then there's the timeline view for your portfolio. Portfolio or whatever. Yeah, so this is how you make a simple website using Notion and I hope you found this useful. If you found this useful, consider subscribing as only 12% of the viewers are subscribed. If you want to see more videos about Notion, tech, app, book reviews, business and so on. And do comment about any questions that you have about this. Also, you can check out all the links in the description box below. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.